Hey everybody, it is Spookalot here, and today we are back for another live po uh, Pokemon Showdown session. Uh, in this session we are going to do a few, uh, two OU battles, and maybe, I don't know, VGC or something like that. We're just doing some battles with this new team I made up on the fly. Uh, it's got some powerful options. It's got Choice, uh, Choice Scarf Diggersby, it's got, uh, the powerfulness of Crobat, it's got Focus Sash, Tyranitar, and uh, let's see what this one's got. Wow, 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 wow. It was a team. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start out with my Tyranitar to get the uh, to get that um. Dogs. Grabbing pins off the floor and such weird animals. But uh, I'm going to start out with my Tyranitar as I guess I don't even know what he's doing. So let's. See, um, okay, just making sure that's that. I don't know what to, why he's taking so long, but uh, okay, there we go. So, little Tokyo comes out against an Agron. That doesn't scare me too much because I could just stealth rock, and he's gonna stealth rock too, so this is just awkward now. <laughs> I swear, everything's gotta be awkward, I guess. So, now I'll switch into Dickers B. Eat up that Iron Head. Oof, delicious. Mmm. And hit him up with that beautiful earthquake. Oh god, he didn't do enough. Well, the sturdy took effect, and then he had the citrus berry left over. So, yeah, that's that's funny. All right, we'll go out to my next choice, which is sunburn. If the stupid thing would ever load faster. Come on, load faster, dang it. I don't know why, but it seems like the uh, showdown server has been kind of laggy for me today. I don't know if that's just me, folks, or what. But uh, we're going to come out with Sunburn. Try to hit with that Focus Blast if it doesn't miss. Yes! Thank God for that. Okay, now he's probably going to send out either the Charizard or the Politoed to get rid of the peskiness on the, team, on the field. So I'm going to go for, this th for the Thunderbolt. Eat up that ice beam. Wham! Goodbye to Polyton. And the dry skin, thanks to that, thanks to this beautiful rain, I'm getting my health back a little bit at a time. Oh, it's like you just gave me a leftovers. Uh, hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I don't really have anything to counter this. Nope, I don't. I was trying to see if I could see. I guess I really can't speed up speed of thunder. I should have thought about that. Alright, so let's see, with Thunderous on the field, I only have so many options. I could either go into Agron or I can go into Little Tokyo. Uh, neither of which could probably take that. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, I know what I'm gonna do. I'll bring out Agron, Mega Evolve, and go for the Heavy Slam. Dodge that beautifully, majestically, awesomely. And then go for the powerful Dragon Tail. Dodge it again. Oof, that seven, that seventy percent accuracy really does th do a number on you sometimes. So, um, what you gonna send out next? I'm thinking he's gonna send out either Charizard or Tornadus. Probably gonna be Charizard, and he's probably gonna have the Charizard Y set up so he can get rid of this rain, which I have to admit would be pretty clever actually. So you could switch on the fly between teams. Or he's gonna send out the tornadoes for that per because he's still got like I wanna say two turns left of rain. Let's see. No, he's still got he's got at least three to four turns left. So he could if he sends out tornadoes, he can have those perfect accuracy hurricanes coming at me. Which would be very threatening. Not to Agron per se, but it'd be very threatening to something, I'm sure. Alright, so uh so uh what's a Yuxi? Yuxis are pure psychic, I think, and they have reflect. Cute. I've had Thunder Wave. And I also have the ability to switch. Oh, hey, the rain wore off perfect. Now, you're paralysis. You can't do shit. So I can proceed to hit you up with this dark pole. And do a good clean bit of damage. But now he's got the light screen up, which is kind of bad. Now he's got two things up, which is really going to hinder my fighting ability. But as long as I have the paralysis, as long as the paralysis is taking over and I can spam dark pulse on this. Oof, that 1%. Really? That's not cool, man. 
I mean, that's clever, but that's not cool at the same time. So all he has left is a Tornadus and a Charizard, and that Charizard just took a clean 50 off that, uh, from that powerfulness. So, I'm gonna go for the Dazzling Gleam, expecting the X, but instead it's a Y, so that's not helping me. And the Roost gets his damage back, so that's not, that's even worse. Christ, uh, what can I do to this thing? I can't take a hit. I can try and Toxic it. Come on, Toxic, come on, Toxic Tax. Nope. Well, that didn't work. Uh, I need something to stall out. I need to stall out that, uh, those hit, those two screens. And this will actually help, it, help me out. I didn't think about that. Alright, um, I should be able to take one hit, because he's either going to go for the switch, or he's going to try and hit me with solar beam, which isn't going to work now because of the weather. Because I don't think Charizards can carry other stuff. Yeah, he's going to switch into Tornadus. I'll get the stealth. I'll get the dragon dance up, and there goes the reflect. So here comes the stone edge. Eat that air slash. Not flinch. Eat the air slash. Come on. Come on, pick already. You know you, you know you have a chance to win this if your Therian has. Focus Blast, because if it has Focus Blast, I'm done, because Agron can't do anything to it, and Crobat can't do anything to Charizard. Come on. Ah, oh, that missed. Okay, you know what? Screw it. We're just going for the Stab eight, the, scab, the stab Crunch. Wham! Goodbye. Get out of here. Get off the field. Get off the field, Cherno. Okay, I should be, I might be able to outspeed, actually. Let's see. Yep, I outspeed. So that's a GD, GG to, uh, DBZ Tard. A GG to you, my friend. GG is very good, Matt. Very good. Um, I think we'll do... We'll do one more episode. I mean, we'll do one more battle on the... With this OU team, because I'm liking this OU team. It's pretty powerful. I had this OU team actually really set up, and it's probably what I'm going to be currently using. In a little, uh, I'm going to be using on my first live stream, which will be coming up soon. Because I have, because I just sent out my DS to get fixed, to get modded up, so it shouldn't be too long. So uh, let's see. I'm seeing a lot of water types, a lot of fairy types, a lot of weaknesses, but I'm seeing a main weakness to rock and roll so i'm thinking bring out bring out little tokyo oh uh, I, I may have done a bad matchup here folks i may need to switch into someone who can now hit this thing switch into venus switch eat up that giga drain and get the brave bird off the brave bird off oh uh, he's gonna switch into klefki Hold that. Okay, I can't outspeed it, but I can out. But if I can take whatever it's gonna do, I could use taunt and with it. That shouldn't be a big problem to deal with, folks. Cause Klefki are scary to an extent, but not to the best extent. So there's a thunder wave. There's a taunt. So now he can't do anything back to me. So uh, now I can that gives me a chance to switch into Diggersby. So let's see, with Diggersby on the field, he could eat up that flash cannon and hit it with that powerful Scarfed Earthquake. I really need to think of a nickname for Diggersby. Tell you what folks, in the comments, if you could think of a good name for Diggersby, uh, just tell me in the comment section. I will try my best to decide a good one because I love because Diggersby is really cool. I had bred one myself. It's just I don't know a good nickname for it. So switch back out. That toxic is going to be a problem, but I can get rid of it later. He's probably going to switch into either Coflable or uh, Venusaur. So you know what? I'm going to try and trick him out with. Oh, crud, I didn't think about that. I forgot that, uh, that does stuff. Alright, so yeah, I have to switch into someone else. Switch out, Gengar. Get ready, and he's probably gonna switch into... I don't know what he's gonna switch into, I really don't. I guess Sludge Bomb, because the only thing he can switch into is that Klefki. That's immune to that. 
and get that powerful, powerful 7% back. Um, you know what, folks? I got an idea. Bring out Agron. That Thunder Wave, it doesn't scare me. Mega Evolve and go for the Heavy Slam. Let's see how strong a little tiny uh, keychain is. And Paralysis, of course. Uh, come on. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. Gonna switch again into Alamoa. Take that powerful resist. Okay, so he's probably gonna go for either the... He's gonna go for the Skull, I'm almost 100% sure of. Or he's gonna go for the Wish. For support, but I don't know. I feel like... I feel like Mo Alamoa... Mola taking, uh, using Wish and Clefable using Wish would be a bad setup. So let's see, if he takes a while to make his decisions, which is kind of the point, you shouldn't always rush into an attack, folks, because stuff like that will happen. Okay, he's probably going to switch into Clefable again, so you know what? I'm just going to go straight for the Thunderbolt and see what it does. Okay, he's going to attack. Come on, Thunderbolt again. I don't have time for this, Ming. Alright, um... Come on. Come on. I think he's trying to decide if he should switch, or if he should, uh... He's gonna switch into the cleft key. Come on, Paralysis. Come on, Paralysis. Damn it. Okay, come on, Thunderbolt. Why does all of your Pokemon- Why does almost all of your Pokemon have Protect, man? That's really annoying. Seriously. Okay, I got an idea. He's probably gonna do- If I think I know what he's about to do, he's gonna switch into Alamoa. If he does, this Wild Charge will kill it, probably. If he switches into Talonflame, if he switches into Cloyster, this is gonna eat it up. He could just eat that powerful, powerful electric double edge. That's all it is. But I can only do so many more of those, folks, so I have to be very careful on how many of those I use. Let's see if it takes 33% each time. I got like four hits left, maybe. Maybe three, because I didn't see how much HP I had beforehand. Uh, let's see. Alright, so, um, what do I have to count as before I have Crobat? Eat up that Giga Drain! The only problem I'm having with this is the fact that he could easily just switch into his Alamoa. Okay, so there's that Brave Bird. I need to get rid of this thing somehow. I know I can well, I can't outspeed with a freaking paralysis in the field when I think about it. Um... Something's got to give, so what can I do? Eat up that knockoff, maybe? And of course, your paralysis kicks in. I hate, I hate Clucky sometimes, I really do. Okay, so there's the taunt. Now I can switch peacefully into someone to take that next knockoff and do some serious damage to it. Switch into Little Tokyo. There goes my focus dash, but I'm not going to need it anyway. Uh, get up a Dragon Dance. I think I could take one Scald. I'm pretty sure I could take one Scald from this thing. So... I could take that one Scald. I'm trying to predict here. Okay, there's the Venusaur. Here's the Dragon Dance. Let's hope this kills. Come on, plus one crunch. Ooh, just half. Ooh, that does too much. Ooh, this isn't good. Um, let's see, do I need him for anything else? No, nothing else on this team is really needed for substitute to take out with Little Tokyo. Did, wait, did I have rocks in the field? I don't remember. No, I don't think I have rocks in the field. That would have been nice to know. 
I could outspeed and put rocks in the field so all these switches will hurt him more than it hurts me. Ah, oh, crud. Oh well. I still got a good bit of damage off of I'm almost killed the Venusaur. If I can almost take out the Venusaur, that would be perfect. That's all I need to do. Um, I'll send in Diggersby for the revenge kill. Use that power powerful Choice Scarf to return. This will hurt anything that comes out. I know that at least. He's probably going to protect the Earthquake and go into either... He's probably going to think... He thinks I'm either going to use Quick Attack, Earthquake, or probably Wild Charge. I'm thinking of Return that will Oko it. That Venusaur's down. So that's two down. Uh, four to go. And this thing is terrifying. Get out. Oh god. And I don't think I can outspeed it with the... Uh, I hope the guy can outspeed it with the... Choice scarf, come on. No! Crap, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble, folks. My only choice, my only chance is if Agron can out live, can out hit it. Could out tank it. Come on. Agron. 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 Come on, tank them hits. Oof, 3%. The Turton. Oh god, it's gonna kill. It's gonna kill. Nah, G. Nah. Wham! Goodbye. Alamoa? Alalalalamoa? Do me a favor. Hold this dragon tail. And get out. Get out, Stoker. And hold this heavy slam. Okay, this is obviously bad. <laughs> this thing gets regenerator? Holy crap, I never knew that. Uh, I could Thunder Wave it. That's the only thing I could really do to this thing, because it's got that freaking Rocky helmet on it. If I could get it off the field somehow, the Thunder Wave should help out a little bit, because it might provide a safe switching for Gengar. I could bring in my Gengar. He could hit the, uh, he could hit the, uh, Alamoa for hard damage, except if he switches. But that doesn't scare me, because Kaflable doesn't scare me too much. I could hit it with the, uh, He's probably gonna go. He's probably gonna switch into Cleft Keep. He didn't switch. Oh God! What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Aromatherapy, of course. Of course. Of course, he's gonna go for the aromatherapy. Clefable, just go down. Go down already. Christ! You will not drop, will you? And there's the Thunder Wave on Gengar, so my whole team is paralyzed because of a uh, pair of key, car keys. Makes you think, doesn't it, folks? Makes you think. At least the draining kisses are taking more than I'm doing, goddamn. Especially with the, recover with the leftover damage. I need to be able to get a switch off, but I don't... Okay, let me think. Okay, he could do that. He'll do more damage to me, but I know I can at least... Take one more hit, except if he does that. Oh, God, I, I, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. There's too much power just coming at me. Uh, it's not power, it's, anno it's stalling. He's literally stalling me out. And the Al Oh, I, I just realized the Alamo does have Wish on it, so that's two Wish users he's using for medic support. The other three were just offense, now he's just use, resorting to stall tactics, which is really a pain in the... yeah. This is probably going to be a long match. I'm probably going to have to end it off here, folks. I was hoping for another match, but I guess not. Oh, wait! Oh! 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 Come on! Come on! We got two more Pokemon to take care of. If we can get rid of that freaking Alamoa, we'd be done. You know what? It doesn't. Ha he doesn't have aromatherapy anymore. Thunder Wave? Heavy Slam, because here it comes. There's the Heavy Slam, but it kills in the process. Christ. Uh, I think... Wait, this is a bad idea. Okay, he switches into the Clef Key. He knows I can't hit that damn Clef Key with uh, Poison-type moves, which is bad, because it's like 80% of what Gengar can do. 
But at least now he his only form of recovery is draining kids. If I could get a powerful enough attack off on him, I'd be able to kill, but I don't have enough strength behind. That's it! Take the draining kiss. Disable. Now what? Now you can't get your health back every turn like a little pain in the ass. But I could do... I could spam Dark Pulses. Oh god, he's got Flash Cannon. That's even worse. I may have, uh... Done this to the wrong move. Come on! Pull through a little bit. Yeah, this, is, this isn't gonna work. I'm in serious trouble. There goes Gengar, and all I have left is freaking a freaking paralyzed Crobat that's at eight percent. That's not gonna kill. I I don't even have an attack that can hit. I'm done. It's GG. Stupid stall teams. <sighs> well, folks, I guess that was a great one to end it with a big stall a big stall match. I lasted fifty turns. So folks, um, I guess I'll just end it off here. If you did like the video, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe because it shows you appreciate the content. It really does, and it helps so very much. I can't state that enough. Uh, stop saying that enough that it helps. So folks, um, if you have an idea for a Pokemon I should use in the next episode, be sure to leave it in the comments because it really does help out a lot. And if you could think of a name, a nickname for Diggersby. It'll be even better because Diggers Bree, di a few. I'll have a team set up that'll be consistent of my six favorite Pokemon to use in the next bat and on my first Wi-Fi live stream, which will be within the next two weeks, I believe, because of the time it'll take for me to get my DS sent and back. So yeah. So, folks, I'm Spook a lot, and I will see you all in the next beautiful video. So, see you later, folks, and I hope you enjoyed.